Welcome back, everyone, to the Game Vault Podcast stream. I'm your host, Tom. Joining me, as usual, is Mark. Hey, how you doing? It Today's is. not Monday, right? It's not Monday. It's Retro Roulette, though. Oh, thank God. <laughs> We're playing The Misadventures of Tron Bon, which is a very rare game. Uh, and I picked it up when they said PSN was going away because it's like four hundred dollars on on eBay. Hey, Death. The hard copy. The hard copy. Hey, yeah. Death. Thanks for the lurk. But yeah, uh, I drove like eight hours yesterday, so I was like, Nah, I'm not gonna stream tonight. Luckily, Tuesday's a built-in buffer. So, pork yeah. chop. What's uh, up? Hey, pork chop. Uh, unfortunately. Uh... Uh, Dan was working overtime, so we didn't get three straight nights of Dan of the Wild. That is unfortunate. What did you say this was an offshoot of? This is an this is a spin-off of Mega Man Legends. So, so like the weird one. This is like the weird the weird game that's a spin-off of a weird game. So I don't have a lot of background with Mega Man Legends. I, I know some people really enjoy the series, um, but I've never played it. It was one of those things. One of those things I just never, never did. And, I, and I, Tron Bon, I believe, is a bad guy in that. So you're kind of playing as the bad guy or the antagonist. I don't know if there's a bad guy. I think the bad guy is the guy on the left here. But uh, yeah. So this should be interesting. And unfortunately, Mark is going to have to leave us uh, in about a half an hour. Yeah. yeah, Tuesday night's a buffer night for Tom, but not for Mark. Right. He's going to recall they Corliss a movie. <laughs> Speaking of which, how did you enjoy the movie last week? What, the uh, um, the, the Dan Aykroyd film? Yes. Uh, it's glad when you can... Studios would just give you millions of dollars <laughs> to make whatever trash you want to make. Oh, this I, gonna... I still don't really know how. Quino D just subscribed. Thank you for the subscription. Hey, Dan. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's this week's this week's yeah. podcast coming yeah. up. Yeah, we're a week ahead, just to buffer in case if anything happens. All right. R1 and L1 yeah. turn, left and right slide. That's weird. Okay. This should be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're welcome. I've, I, You guys wanted a bad movie. You got one. Yeah, I don't know if he means your movie or the one we watched that we're recording tonight. Yeah, you gotta subscribe to the Patreon. You get those yeah, dirty, well, get those dirty <laughs> movies. The Patreon is our podcast on porn parodies. That's right. Yeah, wasn't a great movie. So these dudes are like made out of Legos or something. I don't. I no, don't they just use the After I went to all that trouble, servos all or serve bots or whatever they're called. To get this treasure map. It's They're big in Mega Man Legends. That's where the whole the head no, thing comes in. in um, I mean, it's supposed what's to be it called? A um, legendary treasure. Is it Dead Rising? It's is that the thing with the? Yes, easily. Dead Rising. You can get one of these guys' heads um, and put it on. Yeah. I'll get that junk store owner if it's the last thing I ever do. Oh, where the heck are those <laughs> ruins anyway? I've been looking for hours. Yes. <laughs> the, the movie we watched, Dan, was exactly how I remembered it. And I, except for the whole now being a little more seasoned in movies. I can't wait. I, I, I can't wait to hear you guys talk about it because I remember seeing the, just seeing the movie and going, what am I watching? We're also talking about the movie we just watched. As well. Oh, is there? Uh, is it that bad too? The entrance we're looking for. Yeah. I knew you could do it, Bon Bon. Now we're in business. What's your heading? North. All right. So this dude's looking for like a buried treasure. 
and he leaves Tron Bond behind, go. who is the person you play as. Yay. Yeah. It's weird that they made a spin-off of her from this game. So, alright. I have no idea what I'm doing here. The controls are like pre-DualShock. Mm -hmm. uh, Which way is it? Let's see. Tron said to use the L1 and R1 buttons to look around. This is very clearly a figure out the game Re level. Re uh, <laughs> let's just say I I am trying pork chop. <laughs> I mean, it's a we're gonna have some spicy nudes, so. Looks like we'll have to fight our way through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Roxy has already had spicy fight. nudes on her channel. <laughs> That's even better, Jonathan. It was funny. I was watching some streamer yesterday, and he had this guy that apparently was subscribed to his channel for a year. And then with his year subscription thing, he just started telling everyone in the chat to go watch a bikini stream. And the streamer was like, that's his first comment on this stream in a year. <laughs> and he gave me money for a year to say that. <laughs> Hey, Jen. Just talking about your our soon-to-be OnlyFans account. With all of our all of, us, all of our spicy nudes. Are they going? How do they? Did I miss something? <laughs> We're, we're creative enough that we could we could definitely do some real dumb stuff that would piss off a lot of earnest people. Oh, yeah. So getting used to this with, like, without using the uh, analog sticks is really weird. And there's no option to play with the analog stick. For a game that came out in 1999, that's so weird. Yeah, well, how do you hit? You throw something into it? I keep wanting to use the right stick. It's just not doing anything. You can't pick anything up. Not yet. It doesn't look like it. This is like old Doom controls. Duke Nukem. How do I pick stuff up? There we go. Oh, it's terrible. Wait, wait. I give myself an idea. Set up an OnlyFans for just the worst, most cringiest gaming stuff. Uh, yeah. Porkchop, you can have that one. Go for it. But I would <laughs> label every... I don't know how OnlyFans works, so... Um... You would, uh, label it with the most clickbaity stuff. Oh, yeah. You gotta go super clickbait. Grabbing the whole disc and touching the bottom of it. So the music's pretty good so far. Mm, that was one of the good things in uh, Capcom Mega Man Legends. What was it Tron said? Oh, that's right. Use the triangle button to <laughs> no, pick holding it, holding an N64 controller like this. Yeah. 
Of course, I totally missed what they just said. I was not paying any attention. Hopefully, I can figure it out. Ooh, chewing the controller wire. That's bad. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, I hope I don't have to start over because I wasn't paying attention to the freaking cutscene. Okay. I was I was getting real close to going to the FAQ. <laughs> I got it. Figured it out. <laughs> Fake came as well. Yes. Obviously. Play something with the sensitivity I won't refuse to change it. <laughs> right here. We need to just have a special stream of just tracking guard. Just to appease the crowd. Yeah, we're gonna. And by have the to. crowd, I mean Jonathan. We're gonna have to at some point. <laughs> it's a PS2 game, right? We just we figured that out. I have to source a copy of Dragon Bird. Oh shit! Would you go to your friend Vim for that? Yes, that's exactly what I would go to. Ow. Oh, I have ways of sourcing it myself. Wait, what's expensive, Jonathan? <laughs> yeah, what's expensive? <laughs> it's never expensive with Vim. I mean... Vim gives me good deals all the time. Seven dollars? That's not bad. Is it a complete copy? If it's set if it's seven dollars for a complete copy, I might think about just getting a real copy, but we'll see. That must be it. This is the Gustav. <laughs> I don't I meant you don't want to get it for zero dollars. Uh I have PS2. I have I have a couple of PS2s. Is everything okay? How's the staff holding up? That you drawn? Everything's fine. The Gustav's doing great. How could it not after all? You made it. Don't worry about a thing. We'll be home with the treasure before you. Oh. Also, this is not emulation. Well, technically, technically it is, but it's also not at the same time. It's what? It's PS1 on PS3. It's PS1 on a PSP Go. So. Oh, okay. But I purchased it from from the PS Ed store. We have yet to talk about this game. <laughs> What's that? I can get the money I borrowed from Lo back. I love I love that these streams because we Once now have an audience. As it has been less and less of us talking about the actual game we're playing for Red Bull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're just interviewing the We're just talking to everybody else. Yeah. Way of the Samurai now. one and two. Interesting. I see, I never got into Ninja Games. Yeah, this is some weird shit going on right now. Listen, if you just so, wait a few more. Kiesel Bon is a Science. bad guy, Don't you and he borrowed money from the wrong people, is apparently. Up. You yeah. leave me no choice but to exercise our options. And the, these dudes are are looking What's for the money. What's happening? <clears throat> I've run into a little 
Don't worry though, I'll be back soon. I think my favorite part of um, uh, I spent it before stream with the uh, uh, Game Informer Mega Man Legend Super Replay. Exactly yeah. Was when they accidentally sold all their armor and equipment <laughs> because because they thought, why would they put the stuff you have equipped in the menu to sell? Oh, you know. <laughs> Like, forgetting like... forgetting how old games so Jonathan I know you were looking for a mech game as so far this has been a mech game I can't straight I don't Can't see what's happening. I'm not locking on to anything. Where did he go? Oh, god damn it! Surprise, motherfucker! That's exactly what happened. I beat him. Look at me. Good. Okay. I was hoping that wasn't one more life bar. Not bad. <laughs> I'd expect no less from the leader of the Bond family, but not quite good enough. Did Jonathan say here? He solved. Uh... No, WOTS is the game. Wait, the like is like four hours long. Bunch of endings, Ultimate right? Ultimate Glide Laser! Yeah. Uh, gotta love these. Uh, this voice. We solved his mech problem. That's why he has an ass. Oh, okay. So far, this is a mech game. I wasn't He's expecting down. that. We've lost contact with the Gustav. I wonder if Teasel's all right. He said he'd run into some trouble. It's no use standing around here worrying. I'm gonna go to their last known position and make sure everything's okay. Block D, can you hear me? We're heading out in a truck to look for the Gustav. The rest of you, wait at your normal stations, okay? Roger, yes, ma'am! Yay! We're going on a mission! <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. I never played Mega Man Legends, so I'm totally out of the loop when it comes to this. Not a bad game from what I can What happened to Teasel and Bon Bon? It's what I, I think it's it one of those so things scary. like you, you just have to It's it's a Calm down. It's all right. You either Calm like down. it or you don't type things. Can you tell me what happened to Teasel and Bon Bon? <laughs> they were beaten up. They were both taken away. Taken away? But by who? Why? Oh, no, by the way, we're playing Stream Raider, so uh, we can't pay back our if debt. you're interested, please hit the link out. that just popped up right now. Debt? Tiso never said anything about debt. He must not have wanted to worry us and so didn't tell us about it. That's just like him. Well, let's get back to the Gessel Shaft. We have to make a plan to rescue them. These are very German-sounding names. <laughs> Wonder if that was the point. Uh, it could have been. What could be taking them? It shouldn't take this long to find something like that. Huh? Miss Tron, we found it! We, we found it! it. What took you so long? Hurry, give it to me. Yeah, Jen, I think you're really gonna enjoy what, the. This is it. This is Teasel's receipt the for the The artwork money. in this. What does yeah. it say? Read it, Miss. Character Bond. portraits and legends were real good too. Let's see. I just I wish the. Uh... I T 
Teasel Bond do hereby state that I owe Loath Inc. the sum of one million zenny. It will talk like minions. Huh? One million zenny. Instead of having semi kind of human voices. Yeah. Wait a minute. The date on this I owe you. It's from around the time we were building the Gessel Shaft. Teasel said not to worry about money. He said we had plenty, and then he went out and bought everything. Miss Tron, should we make dinner for Master Teasel and Master Bonbon bon tonight? No, not tonight. But keep their places ready. They'll be back. Yeah, I think they have them having some human voices make them creepier. And bring <laughs> What other, what other game is Zenny the? Well, it's probably currency. something that's Capcom. Interesting. Oh, it's Dragon Ball. Uh, one of the Dragon Ball games. Is it Monster Hunter? Yeah. So we got an action level, a puzzle level, an RPG level, and a free level. Well, they're mission, they're labeled too. Yeah. And I, I want to go back and look at this menu. If it lets me. I can talk, move, scout. So I don't really know what... So I can talk to any of these guys. Click the surf bot to go scouting. You can send one more out. So this is like... It's like base building too? Yeah. Hmm. Weird. This is interesting. Hey, Otterly, what's up? Hey, Otterly. Oh, so there's... Look at all this stuff. This is crazy. Like, who are these people? Yeah, this is interesting. I have never so you, oh, you can sell stuff here. It's menuing the game. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, this is a mech game. <laughs> what is gym? I think I just went to like a training. I can train? I can, train serve, serve bots up. I can train my serve bots. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yes, please. This game, you have to throw bombs at the targets at the back of the room. To win, you have to knock down a certain number of targets within the time limit. This level is made up of three rounds. If you clear a level, the attack rating of the serve bot playing will go up one point. Good luck. Jump and eat curry. Oh boy. This is a good way for me to end. <laughs> oh god, what was that? 
Are you supposed to hit those bombs back? No, it's just to pick them up. Ow. I got a bazooka. I don't know what the eating curry does. Give more time? I don't know. I have no idea. Get that bazooka again. Alright, here we got 24. Uh, yeah, I'll try again. Since I know what I'm doing now. This is like the weirdest game ever. I'm so glad we have it, though, because we needed something different on this freaking re retro roulette. I think that pauses the time eating the curry. Did I do it? I did it. You did it. That's a good time for me to peace out. All right. Thank See you. For... Enjoy the rest of this game. Yes, I'm going to try. Thank you for hanging out, Mark. Enjoy the call this movie. No problem. See you guys. So, yeah, I've been looking for something crazy different like this for Retro Roulette for quite a while. I'm glad we found something. I was going to play something this week, Jonathan, but I but this popped up. If it didn't, I was going to use one of your suggestions. Okay. Let's go back to HQ. All right, let's try a mission. See how this goes. We're robbing a bank, folks. Okay, before we start the mission, I'll get Stream Raiders going. We don't have a lot of we don't we don't have a lot going on here. This could be bad. Hopefully hopefully we have enough uh firepower out there to, to win this. Not sure we do. We'll find out. This one's gonna take a while.
Yeah, I think we're going to die. It's not looking good. Our units are very, very slow. Are we going to do it? We might do it. Hey, we did it. Yeah, Quino D gets the prize. Okay. Start the next one. Another long one, it looks like. All right. Back to the game. Back to the show. All right. We're going to rob a bank. I probably should have read what, what we're doing, but, you know, fine. We'll learn as we go. So, does anybody in chat have any any idea? Any have you, Has anybody ever played this game? Or Mega Man Legends, for that effect? All right, let's get what we came for and get out of here before the police show up. Is this the bank? All right, open the doors. It's it's full of dogs. That is clearly not the bank, Tron. Wait a minute! This isn't the bank. Oops, sorry. The bank's in the next town over. Why is it always this <laughs> way with you? Whenever I ask you to do something. And tell them to pick us up. Come in, Drac. We need a pickup over. Miss Tron, they say they'll be here in two to three minutes. Two to three minutes, huh? Well, maybe the trip won't be a total waste. Grab what you can. Miss Tron, I found some valuables at the animal hospital. Okay, good going. All right, listen up. We're not leaving until we get. 50,000 zenny, okay? Roger. Use beacon bombs to target the buildings and have the serve bots steal what's inside. Okay. I have three minutes to get 50,000 zenny. Alright, 8,000. Of course, Mega Man's on the TV. God, this is a weird game. This is like a super Japanese game. That's fine. Thirty thou. Also, the aiming's inverted, for God's sake. Six thousand. I already robbed. The hospital was the first place I robbed. Mark 
come the cops. Five zero. How about how about no? Miss Tron, it's the police. The truck's still not here. Look. Very Mega Man esque, even though it's not, you know, Mega Man. So far, no platform. So, we'll see if that continues. We got the fifty thou. All right, we've got what we came for. Everyone, get ready to leave. Not too bad. I. It's like, to have to sleep in today of all days. So this is like Mech Warrior meets warrior GTA. I gotta say, the graphics are pretty damn good in this game for a PS1 game. You there, in the robot. Come out now with your hands up. Took you long enough to get here. Have a little trouble getting up this morning, did we? Did your mommy have to wake you up? Well, how did you... I mean... No! I didn't, re I didn't know if <laughs> John... If I would have known that it was actually... Mech Warrior beats GTA. I would have been. I would have let everybody know. Uh, also, if you've listened to the podcast this morning or yesterday, um, we talked about fidelity versus frame rate with uh, modern games. And I put up a poll on Twitter. Um, I put up a poll on Twitter to uh, see what you guys think. So check it out. At Game Vault Pod on Twitter. You don't Twitter anymore? That's okay. You can tell me right now. What do you prefer? Fidelity or frame rate? I don't blame you. Do not blame me. Twittering is hard. I just murdered this woman. Yeah, I'm on the same boat. We knew you'd win, Miss Tron. Did you get everything? All right, then. Let's go home. Yes, Miss Tron. Wait, I'm not through with you yet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Better luck next time, huh? See you around. Okay. We got pork, fish, and curry. Number two's brains went up is now three. Number four's brains rating is now two. Five is now two. So this is interesting. You level up your serve bots. Oh, 
let's, uh, let's see. Let me try on. You, you want to save the game, you can do it here. It's probably a good idea to save every once in a while, don't you think? How, how do I do that? System. Okay. I don't want to save again, damn it. Can't believe I've been playing this game for 36 minutes and I, I don't feel like I've done anything yet. Okay, so... Oh, so you can replay missions at different levels. Interesting. Let's try mission two. Steal all of the cargo containers from the harbor. Get this mission meeting started. Right, yeah, I imagine it's harder too. The Gustav can't carry something that big. We're taking the Gustav tank. Other ones as steps or bridges, if necessary, just put them inside. The Gustav tank can only lift containers so many times, and the number of steps it can take are limited to. Oh, so this, this is a puzzle. All right. let's try it I'm sure I'm gonna be terrible because I'm not good at puzzle games all right let's get to work we're going to load those containers using the Gustav tank I modified for this kind of work wondering what's in those containers I'll tell you top quality beef steaks let's see there's four containers Okay. Miss Tron, Miss Tron! Look, crab! Crab! A container full of crab meat! That's worth more than a beefsteak. What? In this season? <laughs> All right, we'll add that to the list as well. Roger! This is a weird freaking hmm. game. Even the Gustav tank can handle big containers like these. The Gustav tank can lift containers a maximum of eight times. I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm moving the other containers out of the way. Okay. I won't be able to carry them that far either. No more than ten steps. All right. But I can carry these light wooden containers anywhere. That's good to know. These metal ones look too heavy to move at all. Though, if I turn in place after picking them up, at least I can get them out of the way. Okay. I guess if I have to, I could put some containers into the sea. I'm sure I'll figure it out somehow. So, did you get all that? Um, not really. Weren't you listening? These surf bots are useless. Stuck, we can start over by opening a menu with the start button and selecting restart. It does so look like this was. Try, okay? This was aimed I'll at kids. I'll tell the rules again if you forget. Just press the start button for the menu and select rules. Let's go! Yes, Miss Tron! Start! Alright, so at least it gives me a top-down view. So that's good. So I need... I want this one. Okay, got one. Ah! 
Oh, shit. <laughs> that was close. Oh, so... Move this. Alright, I got three of them. I almost failed the puzzle for children. Yes, I almost did. This needs to go here. Nope. That's not right. Oh, I can put it in the seat. Do I... Alright, I need to put this one over here. There we go. Got it. Oh, God damn it. Alright. Oh, I can go back one round. I'm gonna restart. Because I clearly screwed something up there. I didn't plan out my lifts, so that was my problem. I know. I I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to the lift numbers. I think I got it this time. Usually, things like this take me one or two times to figure out. Do I want to try? Should I have gotten a crab? I don't know. I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? Should I do it over again? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more time. Oh, relax, everyone. I like that there's different kinds of missions in this, and it's not all the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's a bonus. So, now I know. Okay. We did it. No idea how many rounds there are, so this should be interesting. I wish it gave you like a flyover before you started. Okay. So there's the crab. I'm gonna put this. Oop. Mm. 
put this here. Give me less spaces to go. There, oh, where's my crab? I got it. I think we got this figured out now. We got two lifts left, so I'm going to put this here. Look at me getting kids stuff right. That's the last container. We did it. Get some hype in the chat for me being able to do puzzles. Gotta love it. Okay. Well, we got one that's a bit more complicated. Everything is bunched up in the middle. How am I going to do this? I think I might have already screwed this up. making me think more than I wanted to. <laughs> Can I put this on top of this? No, of course not. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to leave the crab this time. All right, Jonathan, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Two, it looks like. That's the last of the containers, Miss Drone. Okay. This is yes, pretty. Mr. This is pretty interesting. I'm really glad we got this. This is something definitely different. And at least it's not crap, which I'm happy about. I will take a not crap game. I forgot to ask, uh, is the game volume all right? I don't, I don't know if we, uh, if we asked that yet. Sell the beef containers for 54,000 zenny. 20,000 zenny, wow. Construction on my room. Let's check that out. So it appears like there's a base building aspect to this.
facial aerobics. Facial aerobics? Yes, just trying to keep your skin young and healthy by exercising your face. <laughs> uh, why are you doing it? You don't have any skin. But, Miss Tron, I just thought we should all look our best. You look good enough. Okay. Let's go to the lab. Buy some stuff. Twenty thousand. Let's do that. Let's see what the next mission is. I think this one said RPG, so I'm interested to see what this is all about. Free the legendary Aurora Stones in the ruins. Interesting. All right, let's get this mission started. We're going to go on a dig in the Shalakun ruins looking for the Aurora Stones. Like underground, Mr. Tron? That's right. It's as big as a city. All sorts of traps all over the ruins, so we'll have to be extra careful. No, you won't. I'm staying here. We'll take advantage of the other diggers there and get the treasure before them. He'll trust you more because of your looks. Yes, Mr. Tron. be monitoring We're using the mini robot Finkel. Follow the beacon bombs. No goof at all. Voice actors the sound familiar. Worry, I'm sure they I'll all do right the all the Capcom games ever, so the triangle button, which will get people's attention. All right, Miss Tron, we'll do our best. Okay, do you understand everything? Here we go. All right. Roger. No idea what we're doing, so this should be interesting. Oh, it's first person mode. This is weird. <laughs> Well, I guess it can't hurt. 
can it? Sure, we'll go with you. Then it's settled. My name's Dance. Nice to meet you. Okay, yes, Dance. So nice to meet you. Take me to the promised land. Of course you do dance. This, my ultra dynamite. If we use this. What? Dynamite? <laughs> Is he crazy? He'll bring the whole cave down on top of us. Wait, wait, stop! Go! Huh? Why? My ultra dynamite's pretty amazing stuff. Let's leave for now. I'll make a drilling machine and we can come back later, alright? Metroidvania. All right, if you say so. <laughs> I really wanted to use my dynamite. Of course you did. Of course you wanted to use your dynamite. I don't blame you. This is like descent. This is really weird. But I don't have six degrees of freedom. Get one? Huh? It's empty, of course. Someone must have gotten here and opened it before us. Does that mean there's no treasure left anywhere? Not necessarily. Not all treasure boxes are this easy to open. Some treasure boxes are locked, which means you can't open them without the key. Of course. A key, huh? But that means we have to find the key first. This is starting to sound pretty hard. <laughs> Do you think we can really do it? I feel bad for these dudes. Don't worry, I'm with you, remember? Come on, let's keep moving. Yes, Mr. Dance. Make sure there's nothing hiding back there because... Everything looks the same. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to fight something here. Good job, Dance. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> this is a nasty <laughs> trap. Say, maybe you should push the switch instead. Yeah, that's it. Why don't you try? <gasps> I knew he was no good. I guess it's up to you guys then. <laughs> it'll it'll only kill you. Draw. 
You did it. Now you know how to deal with traps, right? Yeah. <sighs> this is going to be a long day. Yep, you said it, Tron. You said it. God, this is just getting labyrinthian. Oh. Don't 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 run in there, idiots. Don't want to be killed by a stalactite. stones yet or keys and the only problem with this is everything looks exactly the same and I don't remember which direction I came from So that's not doing anything for me. Whoa, wait! It's a fire trap! Fire! Oh, good. Yep. If you're not careful, you'll be burned to a crisp. Hmm, I see. Well, what should we do? Well, this trap should also have a switch that deactivates Let's it somewhere. Not get lit on fire. How so about that? As far as I know, Dan, I don't think so. Pretty sure this is a one and done. They did more than one Mega Man Legends, but I don't know that they ever did anything more with this character. Hey, it's a key. That's a card key for a treasure box. Good job. This means you can open lock treasure boxes now. Nice. Yay! That sounds like fun. <sighs> Listen to me. That's really important. Don't lose it, all right? Use the card key. Here we go. One of these freaking stones better be in there. Miss Trump, look at what was inside. An e-bottle, number one. Great! I can use 
use it to recharge the Finkel's energy. Take good care of it. Yes, yes, try. Okay, that was useless. This seems it's gonna, like it's gonna take forever. <laughs> Just knowing me and how I want to explore every inch of something when I'm playing an RPG, this is going to take a while. Switch for the trap. What? I have to get a new key every time I want to open a treasure box? This is going to take forever. thing off. Oy, oy, oy. Oh good. Found another key. Go back and open up the treasure box. Hopefully it's not crap that I don't need. Open the damn thing, yes. going all in on this RPG thing here. Of course it's important. You better not lose it or you'll all be in a lot of trouble. Yes, Miss Tron. Tron is in a bad mood. Uh, 
All right, now we gotta figure our way out back to where we just were. Stay away from that. Maybe I should talk to her again. What's that? You say you cleared the trap? Well, what was on the other side? A card key for a treasure box. A card key? So that's what they was hiding. These lads be pretty good diggers, eh? I'll get it next time. Okay. On to the next area. What is all of this? This really old, really famous digger named Dig, see? Of course he is. He writes messages for other diggers whenever he's exploring to help them out. So, what's it say? What does it say? Let's take a look. Let's see. Uncle Dig's tips. In these caves, it appears there is another treasure besides the Aurora Stones. Interesting. It's called the Elixir of Youth. Of There's very little data, but it has something to do with collecting three kinds of crystals. And one of those crystals is in this room. Elixir of Youth? What's that supposed to be? This is incredible. He must be talking about the secret of eternal youth. There's the crystal. What should we do, Miss Troy? One too. Wow, the elixir of youth. I have to find the other two crystals. Something tells me we need our help. <laughs> oh well, come on, let's go. Dude's useless. Yes, Miss Tron. Okay. in here doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh, went the wrong way. What the hell are these things? Oh boy. Back it up. Hopefully I can, can I use the e-bottle thing? of some sort. We can't move any further unless we do something about this. Wait a minute. There's a switch over there. I bet if it's pushed, this trap will deactivate. Oh, this is making me seasick.
Betrayal. I'm fine, just a little surprised is all. Come on, let's get my way, man. Apparently, uh, Stream Raiders decided to update in the middle of the game, so I guess we're done with Stream Raiders for the evening. is a bit of a, a dominatrix. Why are the traps not going off? Don't understand. Do I have to activate it? Oh, jeez. Freaking control scheme. say that the aiming is not great. Not great. <laughs> I did it. Look at me.
What did we get? We got a crystal. I think that's a good spot to call it an evening. Got the blue Aurora Stone, blue Crystal. Number two's brains rating is now four. New training room. Awesome. All right, let's save. Okay. I'm not sure how many missions you have to clear to beat the game, but I'm at three right now, and considering there's a save system, I would imagine there's a lot. So, we'll see. We will see how it goes. All right. So I am going to mention that we are in a we are a part of the main Damey family of networks. Uh, we have a a movie podcast called They Call This a Movie that airs. Uh, I believe it's every Thursday. Uh, this week they'll be talking about the Dan Aykroyd movie Nothing But Trouble. So if you're into that, take take a look over there. There also have a website called TheMainDamey.com where all of our podcasts live. So if you want to uh, get all of our all of our podcasts in one place. That's the place to do it. We also have a real real play D and D podcast called Stranger Damies. That's at Stranger Damies on Instagram and Twitter. Um, it is it is airs every Wednesday, every other Wednesday, excuse me. Uh, and Mark ch tries to do some uh, uh, talking with the the cast and answering questions on the off weeks. And we also stream that here on the Game Vault Pod, uh, on the Game Vault Pod channel here on Twitch. Uh, we do that every other Friday. It'll be this Friday at probably around eight o'clock. But keep an eye on Twitter for that. Um, or for the Game Vault Twitter, it's at Game Vault Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and here also. Uh, we just released a podcast this Monday, yesterday. Uh, we talked about the differences between fidelity and frame rate and what we prefer. Uh, we have, we also talked about, Anthony also joined us. He was a special guest from They Call This Movie and from uh, Stranger Damies. He joined us and uh, defended the honor of The Legend of Zelda, the first Zelda game. So uh, if you want to check that out, it was a pretty cool uh, it was a pretty cool discussion, so uh, check that out. Also, on our Twitter, we put up a, a poll about uh, the differences between fidelity and frame rate, which one you prefer, and why. So if you are, if you could, head on over there and join in on the poll and let us know which you prefer. Uh, lastly, bef before we get out of here, let me go over our stream schedule. 
Uh, we tonight was obviously a a uh, usually an off night, but I needed to move the pot, move it to today. So generally on Mondays it's retro roulette, or I continue my playthrough of Suikoden. Uh, it's all, always retro on Monday, so be a look on the lookout for that. Wednesdays we'll be playing Apex Legends on Apex After Dark. Thursdays, uh, we have the continuation of Dan of the Wild and the Paper Mario stream that Mark is doing called Paper Markio. Uh, Friday will be most likely be strange. It'll be Stranger Damies this week. And then the following week we'll be recording the podcast. So that's a pretty much an off day for us. Uh, Saturday, Jen goes through Monster Hunter with Jonathan or she'll be playing Dead by Daylight with Mark, depending on who's available and what she wants to play. Sunday, all, uh, Dan continues his playthrough of, the, of Breath of the Wild, uh, and just and that brings us back to Monday. And just uh, keep an eye out on Twitter for any changes in times and things. Uh, Dan likes to change the time he plays; he doesn't always play at the same time. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. And before we get out of here, I'd also like to mention that we are an affiliate of Stone Age Gamer. If you need any retro console accessories, cables. Uh, let's see what else they got. They got they got pretty much everything over there, and we did not end yet. Uh, but they pretty much have anything and everything you could possibly need for your retro gaming setup. So if you use the link that's in the description, uh, you and you purchase something through that, it gives us a little kickback and allows us to uh, make these streams and podcasts better and uh, give you guys a better product overall. So on that. On that note, uh, I think it's time to get out of here. It's been a good night. Hope you guys are all doing well. I want to thank Mark for hanging out with me. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one.